Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and I want to uh, provide everyone with an update in regards to the Parrot Anafi. Now, after many flights with the Anafi, and keep in mind, I currently only have one battery for the Anafi, but I want to tell you, uh, you know, about not just the good, because you've seen my videos, I hope. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel, youtube.com forward slash iRickSky, and click that bell icon to be notified when new videos are released. But uh, I've been very impressed. The, the Anafi has the best HDR, high dynamic range, that I've seen from any drone to date. Now, with that being said, uh, the battery life is also great. The battery life is superior. Not that Mavic Air battery life was a problem, but the Mavic Air's battery life is less than the Parrot Anafi. In real world flying conditions, I've been easily able to exceed 20 minutes of flight time with the Parrot Anafi, so that's great. Uh, the other thing that's great about the Anafi is that obviously you have the USB-C recharging port built into the Anafi's battery itself. So in theory, if you chose to purchase multiple batteries and you had multiple USB cables and multiple USB ports to charge the batteries with, you could charge multiple batteries concurrently. Uh, with the Mavic Air, you can get the charging hub, which will allow you to charge up to four Mavic Air batteries. But keep in mind, that's in a, that's in a sequence. So it'll do one, it'll fill that battery up, it'll move on to charge the next battery. So it doesn't charge all four batteries concurrently. Again, that's the Mavic Air. Also with the Mavic Air, you're, you're stuck with a wall jack or a car charger. You know, the cigarette lighter style uh, car charger jack. So you're using a boat or motorcycle or whatever. But with the Anafi, you've got the freedom of USB. So that's the things that Anafi has done really well. And I'm gonna pull open my list because I've been keeping a detailed log of all of the uh, Anafi areas for improvement that I've found so far. Uh, number one, the micro SD card slot. Although I don't plan to insert and remove the micro SD card a lot, if, if you're in a situation where you may be filming a lot and have to swap the memory cards, that could become problematic. The build quality is not excellent for the micro SD card slot. It's also kind of cumbersome to open and close. I mean, with a, with a short fingernail, I'm able to open and close it. So it's not a problem, but I just question the longevity of that uh, micro SD card slot. Also, while we're speaking about micro SD cards, I've tried the only card that I've been able to successfully record with is the 16 gig micro SD card that came with my Anafi. I've tried multiple micro SD cards from multiple brands and I was able to format those cards successfully using a Mac and also a Windows computer. And they were able to be read by the Mac and the Windows computer. But when I inserted them into the Anafi, they were unable to be read. And obviously I performed the format card option within the Anafi, but by doing that, it didn't correct the problem either. So the only card that I can currently record with is the 16 gig card that came pre-formatted with my Anafi. And of course, in 4K video, that's gonna limit me to around, I think it's around 20 minutes of recording time. So that's definitely not optimal. Um, I think I may have a bad unit. The, uh, the controller is super nice. I'll go as far as to say the Anafi's controller is the best controller I've seen for a drone since the GoPro Karma. And the GoPro Karma, that's one thing GoPro did really well, is create a very nice, solid feeling gamepad style controller for the Karma, and it also had an integrated screen. That's one thing that Anafi could do. There's two things that Anafi could do to improve upon their design. Number one, the little controller piece that grabs your uh, smartphone. I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus, the big iPhone, and I've got a very uh, small, uh, slim profile case, as you can see here. But even with this very slim profile case, the Anafi's controller will not grab it. So I've got to take the iPhone 7 Plus out of the case, which I hate doing that because anytime an iPhone 7 Plus or any iPhone is out of the case, that's the time when often someone will drop it and it'll break. I mean, that's just how luck happens, you know. So that's not optimal. But when I take it out, even, even with the iPhone 7 Plus without a case, and I put it in the, uh, in the Anafi's controller, sometimes it'll stay seated but if it doesn't want to stay seated, it's not, a gen it's not a gentle slide. It's a quick pop and it throws it on the ground. Um, so that definitely needs to be improved. Ultimately, if I was Parrot, what I would do with the Nafi 2.0 is I would, 
is I would abandon the smartphone mount in the controller and I would integrate a screen like GoPro did with the GoPro Karma. That was a very nice experience. The uh, propeller attachment. That's the next action item that I have on my list for Anafi. The propellers, although they seem very thin and potentially flimsy, I haven't noticed any degraded, uh, or rather I should say imperfections with the Anafi's propellers. So even though they're very thin and, and seem to be very flimsy, they've held up really well. Uh, what I do question though, if I do break one, maybe I land in tall grass or, or uh, maybe one just wears out after continued use, replacing it, there's a tool required. I would prefer, I would much prefer a toolless design for the Anafi propellers. Because think about when you're out in the field, that's another thing that you may have forgotten to bring with you, the little tool to remove and replace propellers. You may have also forgotten to bring the replacement propellers. That's one thing that D DJI did great is that, you know, with their drones, you just, if you need to replace the propellers, you just simply push and twist and, and it's a very intuitive process without tools. Uh, so that's something that Anafi needs to improve upon. The, uh, the non-Wi-Fi, now obviously Mavic Air, which is a drone that I uh, compare the Anafi closely to, the Mavic Air does not have Wi-Fi, it does not have, it uses Wi-Fi also. The Anafi uses Wi-Fi. What I would like to see is a more pro-grade version of Anafi that would use a, utilize a technology similar to Lightbridge. Now with the Mavic Air and also the Anafi, you know, the Wi-Fi has not failed me yet. Well, it has with the Anafi, and it may have been related to the app, but I had issues where the app was lagging far behind the actual drone's uh, real-time view. I have not encountered that with Mavic Air, but I have with Anafi. Not every flight, but several flights I have. But I think it would be best if, uh, if Parrot could design a communication system similar to DJI's Lightbridge that would... Uh, not require the drone to utilize Wi-Fi to communicate. So those are a few things. I want to point out the HDR, the high dynamic range on the Paradinafi, is the best high, dy high dynamic range that I've seen from any drone to date. It's very good. The overall color saturation and just overall look of the video, I think Mavic Air, I'm still going to give the win to Mavic Air for that because it just looks better saturated the HDR on the Mavic Air is not as good, but the overall video quality on the Mavic Air is better in my opinion. Another plus for the Parrot, and, and this isn't necessarily a positive for me, but uh, people have commented about the noise. It's very quiet. It's the most quiet drone that I've ever flown. You know, not that I'm doing anything covert, but the fact that it's not as noisy, it does draw less attention. And you know, as a hobbyist today, there's a large camp of people that love drones and there's also a large camp of people that can't stand drones. So to be more covert is actually a positive for hobbyists. And now the, the other thing is, and this is to be determined over the long haul, but the build quality of the drone. As I've discussed, the Anafi's build quality seems to look, it looks like a toy, it feels like a toy. You know, if you hold a DJI Mavic Air in one hand, and, well, you hold it in your hands and then you put it down, then you pick up the Anafi, you're immediately gonna feel that Man, Anafi just feels like a toy. But what's funny about the Anafi is that to see it perform and to see the, uh, the, incredible, uh, the incredible battery life and stability and overall video quality, the, the videos captured with the Anafi don't suggest that it came from something that looks and feels like a toy. But the fact that it looks and feels like a toy could be a positive because, again, drones are in the spotlight by a lot of people that are anti-drone. And to have something that is perceived possibly as a toy for, for hobbyists could be a good thing. What concerns me about that is that, you know, a drone that's, that's thrown in its case, a very nice case that Parrot included with the, uh, with the Anafi, by the way, but something that's thrown in a case, removed from a case repeatedly, opened and closed repeatedly, how long is that more toy-like build quality going to last? versus say something that feels to be more professional in your hands like the Mavic Air. By no means am I trying to give Anafi a bad rap. Um, I will go and confidently say that Anafi is the first drone from a company outside of DJI that I feel can compete with DJI. I mean, Parrot definitely has a formula for success here. 
And if the price point was a few hundred dollars less, you know, despite my gripes that I mentioned within this video, I think that it would be well worth every penny and, and the risk associated with spending that much money for, a, for an item that's for hobbyist use. But I feel that the, given the current price point for Parrot at the time of posting this video, the current price, port, price point for Parrot versus say the current price point for DJI Mavic Air, it would be hard for me to suggest to anyone that is serious about using a drone. I mean, if you're just gonna go out and if, you know, if, if that is uh, recreational income and it doesn't matter and you're just blowing it for something to have fun with, maybe it doesn't matter if you go with a Nafi or Mavic Air. But if your intent is to have something that you can enjoy over and over and take to, you know, potentially challenging environments, you know, where, where you capture some really cool videos, if you want to use it a lot, I would personally feel more comfortable throwing a Mavic Air in my bag because it's got a proven track record. You know, Mavic Air has, uh, it's just an extension of the, of the many other great uh, DJI products that have, that I've flown before that. So, you know, DJI has a, has, at least with me, they've got a track record of being a very reliable drone and a very reliable software interface, the DJI Go app. Parrot and Afi is the first in class. I mean, Parrot's been making drones, but in the past, when you looked at Parrot's drones, they were more toys, you know, the Bebops. And now, this is the first drone that Parrot's released that seems to suggest, hey, you know, we want to go prosumer. We want to go prosumer. You know, we want to, we want to compete with DJI. And that's why I'm sharing this video, not just for hopefully Parrot size, you know, maybe Parrot will watch this and their, their R&D team will, will take this to heart because you've done a really good job. I mean, what you've done with Parrot and Afi is excellent and you're heading in the right direction, but these few refinements are, are paramount. And, and also your, uh, your requirement, not requirement, but if people want to unlock certain functionality for the Parrot and Afi, it's a paid in-app purchase and that's definitely not a good idea. If you want to seriously compete with players like DJI, you need to abandon that pay to unlock features within the app. That's just silly. I don't like that. And I'm not gonna to pay to unlock the features. And I think those features are off the top of my head. Check out my, my video where I gave a, uh, provided an in-depth cure of the Parrot Free Flight 6 app. But I think one of them is maybe follow me, and maybe the other feature is some sort of autonomous flight with waypoints. So, yeah, really good drone. I'm very impressed, and, and, and I mean this in a positive way. But I hope this video is of value. Again, if you're looking for the Parrot and Afi, or maybe you're looking for something like a DJI Mavic Air or another drone, check the link within this video's description, and you can find all the drones and all the accessories there. And check out my plethora of Parrot and Afi videos, and then also look at my older Parrot Bebop videos and my DJI Mavic Air videos. I've got, I've got drone videos from Phantom 1, DJI Phantom 1 through present. So check them out. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click that uh, bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. And uh, most importantly, thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.